The ATVS system was integrated in the convoy through a series of five vehicles. Uh, three of them are autonomous LVSR variants. For the Army, there is a specialized unit with ATVS systems, automated tactical vehicle systems that are integrated, that are proofing future concepts um, like autonomous driving. So the three big functions of the ATVS is leader follower, which is one truck right after the other following in a line. Waypoint, which is a preloaded path that the March unit commander puts on the truck for the vehicles to follow and telecommunication operations where the March unit commander can control robotically any truck in his convoy. Like most autonomous programs in the military, I see this more as a partnered sort of relationship where we have autonomous vehicles partnered with Marine, sailors, soldiers uh, to execute, not being fully off on their own, but I think it provides an additional capability. We might see shortfalls. Um, those systems can go a lot longer. They don't need rest plans. Those vehicles still need maintenance, so they need their, their uniform counterparts to assist. So I think there's really a dynamic there as we refine these programs and these technologies just to ensure that we can apply them to real world scenarios and that they fit in with all of our TTPs. The biggest thing about the ATVS is that it enhances, but doesn't replace the motor transport operator. It allows them to be more effective. It allows the unit to field a wider range of vehicles while not dipping their hands into additional manpower. And it gives unit leaders and leadership the flexibility to run a lot of different missions while not interfering on the operator's work rest cycle.